Yeah! Yeah! Today we're gonna be checking out some creepy videos you should not watch at night. Girl, you better get that out of here on three. One, two, three. Girl, you better get that out of here. If you've used the bathroom today, then please click the subscribe button. If you haven't used the bathroom like me, then please click the subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below what video I should do next. What's something you want to see me do or react to? And don't you dare put bathrooms. But let me know. And let's go! One of the scariest ghost stories I've heard, so now everyone's got to hear it. Back in 2003, there was this group of deployed American Marines who got moved into abandoned military housing that was dubbed Ghost Town. It got the name because apparently the first group of Marines that lived there only made it a week before they couldn't live there anymore. They said they couldn't sleep the entire time they were there. Like all night they would hear the sounds of children laughing, of like footsteps upstairs when there was no one there. So they're walking through the neighborhood, like past a bunch of abandoned houses, and then all of a sudden, one of the Marines just starts screaming. He throws his weapon down and just takes off running like through enemy territory with no weapon. So half of the Marines chase after him and then the other half turn around to see what he was screaming at. They said that behind them, there was this creature that looked like a shadow come to life. It was really tall and skinny, but they said it had these bright glowing red eyes. But before they knew what to do, it just vanished. The craziest part is that multiple other people have reported seeing this exact creature like in the area. If you want to hear more of these stories, you can- No! Girl, are you serious? If being out at war and on duty wasn't scary enough, you gotta deal with ghosts too? You're in enemy territory, you gotta worry about infidels. Oh wait, there's more. You gotta take out this ghost as well. It's a bonus is part of your objectives and this ghost looks like he don't skip leg day like this dude works out it's one thing if it's a ghost but if it's a big old buff ghost a ghost that looks like he could bench 320 oh you're screwed man you're you, you're done you better keep your blicky what the heck is this a vampire bro Oh, heck no. Please tell me that's just a decoration. Imagine if that's real. If that thing is real and then like it wakes up. Oh, you're done. I can't even deal with like a moth in my house. If there's a big old moth, that thing's like human size. If it wakes up and starts flying around, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm just gonna break down. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm just gonna wait for it to leave. All the raid bug spray in the world can't kill that thing. You're gonna have to get the gasoline and light it on fire. On the morning of January 14th, 1989, something very unusual happened on a Chicago news station. What, your haircut? MHQ, which is an NBC affiliate, interrupted all of their morning programming and ran this photo. A missing woman named Joanna Lopez. But viewers noticed something Ugh. very off about this photo. It's completely unrecognizable. It wouldn't make sense to run this to identify anybody. That's also not typically how missing person broadcasts are shown. There's usually descriptors like height or weight, not just a phone number. Home videos caught that this was actually broadcast again in 1991 for 10 seconds before it cut away to color bars. But what's really strange is that a probe into the public records of Chicago showed that there was no woman who was missing by this name. She exists in none of the archives of missing people in 1989 for Chicago, and there is no news record of her with NBC. So who was this missing woman, and why was WMAQ showing her on their broadcast? I don't know, man. You're supposed to tell me, man. You give me the info. Are you sure that's a woman? I mean, gee, that's a dang ghost. That's a demon. I mean, geez, they caught a clean photo of it. Actually, that kind of looks like you, bro. That kind of looks like you. Like, if they darken the face. Are you missing? Blink twice if you're missing and if you need help. Okay, I guess he doesn't need help. Um. <gasps> oh, it's just a little boy. Okay. Playing hide and go seek. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, yeah. You're done, man. You're done. Get out. You're telling me that little boy just vanished into thin air. Why are there ghosts everywhere? What is going on? You guys need to quit messing with them Ouija boards and quit trying to do seances and summon stuff. Got the ghost boy hiding behind the TV and then he just disappeared. He's gone. Not up in my house. Oh, yeah. You better run. Otherwise, you're going to be paying rent. The rent is $1,500 a month. Can you afford that? And no, you can't pay me in candy. Are you a scary video? No. No, because this one's insane. This video comes from Russia, and that's really all I could find about this video. It shows a man walking through the woods and then hearing strange sounds. And then he comes across this. Uh, here's the video. Uh, 
That's a zombie. Why are you in the woods at night? And you're just walking calmly. Yeah, turn around. Go back the way you came. Okay. It's definitely a what white do you person. Think amiguis. Amiguis? What? I don't know. Look at look at that thing. That's a dang skinwalker, man. You better uh <laughs> I hope you brought a shotgun. He kept flashing the light on his face like so many times. Like, bro, do you want to make that thing angry? That thing looking like he gonna sacrifice you. He gonna eat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Have you for leftovers the next day. <laughs> Scary things hidden in photos. Okay, all right, let's check it out. Uh, oh, just the upside down. Oh, oh y'all don't even see it, bro. Group photo, everybody happy. Wait, in the background. Oh, uh, okay, maybe it's just Slenderman. It's just Slenderman, you know, or maybe it's a park ranger in the background, making sure everybody's uh, safe. But this demon right here, this ain't no park ranger. He ain't making sure nobody's safe. This thing about to snatch up dude in the helmet real quick. He gonna snatch him up and drag him into his cocoon, and then both of y'all are gonna merge into an ugly butterfly. Most Scary Urban Legends, part 10. This is Tiki Tiki. She was a girl who fell under a train, and the train cut her in half. Now she roams around using her arms, looking for her next victim. Every time she moves, she makes a Tiki Tiki sound. She cuts people in half by using a saw or a scythe to make them look like her. If she spotted you or you saw her, she will immediately come after you. She is super fast and quick, and there is no way of getting away from her. She is compared to Kuchisaki Ona because you cannot escape or defeat either one of them. What? You're telling me she's super fast, but she only using her arms to crawl. You ain't gonna catch me. I'm a black man. You know how fast I run? I mean, girl, you ain't catch. I, I ran the 100 meter dash in five seconds. Ain't no way you're gonna try to catch me. Uh, good luck. I'm just kidding. Please don't come after me. Please don't. I buckle under pressure. Like, she'd be chasing me. I'd just be like, all right, all right, all right, all right, dang. You ain't gonna cut me in half. I mean, girl, gee, you, you can cut my sandwich in half. Diagonal, please. Ah, gee, Chucky, what are you doing here? I thought you were banished. Bro, you have so many scars. Your overalls are ripped. Ew, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that face. Bro, that is the most evil face I've ever seen in my life. You're like pure evil, bro. You know that? With all them stitches. Are those stitches or are those staples? Why can't you just be a regular cute doll? Instead of like, you know, you got that big old ugh. Did somebody try to experiment on you or something? They like sliced your face half open. How is your eye staying in its socket? And did somebody staple two strands of hair to the side? Out of your head they stapled hair like wow that's just unnatural man Ew. well you have a good one chucky um <clears throat> keep it together <laughs> sorry but yeah we got it. these girls decided to follow the serbian dancing lady and what happens is shocking um don't do it If you're gonna follow that lady, at least have a weapon. Don't. Yes, the you. I swear, white people. <gasps> Run, man! Get out of there! I heard that if she looks at you, the only way to not get killed by her is to start dancing with her. If you want to learn more about the Serbian dancing lady, I am posting no. a video on Friday all about her and answering the question, who is she and is she real? Oh, she's real. And she gonna chop you in half if you don't start dancing with her. You gotta start doing that dance that, something like that. Hopefully I did it right. If I didn't, then she gonna lasso me up, tie me up and drag me across the street. Drag me to a dancing class. Hello? Uh. Ah, Billie Eilish. What are you doing here? Glock Tuck Big T-Shirt Billie Eilish. Ugh. Girl, you're nasty. Do you not understand? And you have scoliosis. You need a chiropractor. You gotta start walking straight, okay? 
You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. She looks like my ex-girlfriend, man. Uh, it's, it's not good. Somebody get her a shower or get her like, you just hose her off. Get the water hose and and then she'll be good. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.